Hello all, welcome to the third session of the SAT series. Let's go ahead with this question. So we have a circle with center O. The radius of the circle is given as H. Uh, we have a triangle OPQ such that OP is equal to OQ and PQ is the tangent to the circle, right? Uh, this angle is given as 30 degree. So with all this given information, we have to find the length of QR. Okay, so the radius of the circle is given as 8 and OR is 8, right? Uh, PQ being a tangent to the circle, if we drop a perpendicular from the center to the tangent, it will cut the tangent at 90 degrees, right? So this angle would be 90 degrees, correct? We can use the sine of 30 degree in this right angle triangle. Let's say this point is like point T. So sine of 30 degrees, sine of an angle is like the opposite over the hypotenuse. So in this case, it will be OT over OQ, right? Sine of 30 degrees is uh, half, one by two. So one by two is equal to OT over OQ, right? We have a single fraction on the left, we have a single fraction on the right, so we can do cross multiplication. And when we do that, we get OQ is equal to twice of OT. Right? We know OT is also the radius of the circle, hence OT is also 8. So it becomes 2 times 8, which is 16. Hence the length of OQ is 16, right? And the length of OR is given as 8, hence the length of RQ would be OQ minus OR. So QR is equal to OQ minus OR which is 16 minus 8, which is 8. Hence, the length of QR is 8. Right. Just to quickly uh, reiterate, right, when we saw this question, we have to find the length of RQ, right? We use sine of 30 degrees to find the length of OQ because we know the opposite side, it being the radius, it's a 90 degree angle because it's a tangent to the circle. And with that, we are able to quickly find the length of OQ. Once we know OQ, OR is already given, we can find QR. Now let's look at another question here. So we have a circle with center O, and we have these two points on the circle A and B. The angle AOB is equal to 120 degrees. The radius of the circle is 8, and we have to find the length of AB, right? Now the radius of the circle is 8, hence OB is 8, and OA is also 8, right? So essentially this becomes an isosceles triangle. Now in an isosceles triangle, if I draw a perpendicular from a vertex to the opposite side, right, it will bisect this angle into two equal halves. And let's say this point is P. Angle AOB is given as 120 degrees, hence angle POB, angle POB will be equal to 60 degrees, right? Again, because we are dropping a perpendicular from the vertex of an isosceles triangle, so it will bisect this angle into two equal halves. So essentially, if we look at this right triangle, so we have P, B, and O. This is 90 degrees. This length is 8 because it's the radius of the circle. And this angle is 60 degrees as we just saw, right? All we have to do is to find the length of PB. Now, we can use sine of 60 degrees, sine of 60 degrees, because we have to find PB, and sine of an angle is opposite over the hypotenuse. So it's equal to PB over OB. Sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2. So root 3 over 2 is equal to PB over OB, and OB is 8, right? We got a single fraction on the left, single fraction on the right, we can do cross multiplication, which gives us 2PB is equal to 8 root 3. We divide by 2 on both sides. We get PB is equal to 4 root 3, right? So the length of PB, this length PB is 4 root 3. The full length AB will be twice of PB because, again, it's an isosceles triangle. When I drop a perpendicular from a vertex to the opposite side, it bisects the other side as well. 
So AB is nothing but twice of PB, which is equal to two times four root three is equal to A root, eight root three. So the length of AB is eight root three. Let's look at another question. So we have a circle with center O. AB is the diameter of the circle and AC is four root three. The length of AC is four root three and we have to find the area of the circle, right? Now let's get started, right? So AB is the diameter, hence this becomes the semicircle, right? And we know that any triangle within the semicircle is a 90 degree triangle. Hence, and triangle ABC is a, a right angle triangle and this angle here would be 90 degrees. Again, just to repeat, right? Any triangle in the semicircle is a right angle triangle. So essentially, we have got a right angle triangle here and this angle is 30 degrees, right? To find the area of the circle, we need the radius, correct? That's our aim. Somehow we have to find the radius of the circle, right? Now, if you really look at it closely, if you look at this right angle triangle, right? So it is something like this. This is 90 degrees. This is 30 degrees. This is A, B, and C. And this is the center here, O, right? You can, if you can find the length of AB, right, we can half of that and find the radius and hence find the area. So let's do that, right? So when we look at this triangle, here we can do cos of 30 degrees. So cos of an angle is the um, base over the hypotenuse. So in this case, it will be AC over AB. Why are we using cos is that because we know the length of this side, right? We know this length is four root three. Cos of 30 degrees is root three over two. So root three over two is equal to four root three divided by AB. Right, single fraction on the left, single on the right, so we cross multiply and we get AB root three is equal to two times four root three, right? We divide by root three here, we divide by root three here and we get the length of AB is eight, right? So we're able to find the length of the diameter AB which is equal to eight, hence the radius would be four, radius is half of the diameter. So OB is equal to four, right? Once we have found the radius, area is pi r square, right? Pi r square, r is four, so pi times 16 or 16 pi. So 16 pi is the area of the circle. Hope you guys got a good flavor in terms of using trig within the circles. If you have any questions, please do feel free to reach out to us at info.mathletes at gmail.com. See you in the next session.